Hi everyone, this is Jill Cornelius, creative partner with Kiwi Lane. My number is 247-096. And today I'm showcasing the May 2023 Kiwi Lane kit called Time to Travel. This is the Premier Kit. The Premier Kit has all of the index cards in there, the paper, as well as the templates. You can join the Premier Kit or there's also the Template Club Kit which just as it says is the templates. So here's my kit. It came on Friday and I didn't want to get in trouble by posting a video earlier than May 1st. So here we are. As you can see on the cover of the box, there is the QR code. If you take a picture of that QR code, it will take you directly to the time to travel digital idea book that was created by Kiwi Lane. And this PDF shows you their ideas on how to use the kit. As you can see, my box has extra stickers. Don't know what's up with that, but that's okay. It came to me. So let's open it up. Excuse me, I cleaned off my desk last night, so I don't know where some things are today since I'm just getting started for the day. Uh, maybe next month I'll open the box ahead of time so we don't have to go through this. Ah, there we go. Okay. There it is. There's new kit. Ooh, that looks like a chipboard word. You know, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram or um, YouTube, you know that I have a little infatuation with with chipboard. A lot of my titles are with chipboard. I used to design for a company that produced chipboard. I think that's where my love came from, but I really liked it before then also. Here's the paper. Here's the cards. There's the templates, and here is the half sheet cover for the kit. Every kit comes with this in it. It tells you what's going on for the month. Like this week, this month's theme is travel, adventure, and dreams. In this kit, the time to travel kit, you have three designer templates. There's a globe, a stack of suitcase, and an arrow. Here is another QR code that will bring you to the PDF so you can scan it for inspiration. And every month, they, Kiwi Lane gives you suggestions on what templates to use with this kit. This month, the Time to Travel Kiwi Club kit templates would coordinate well with McKay Boulevard and Tiny Travel. Um, every month, they have a challenge, Kiwi Lane does, and when you create with the Kiwi Club kit, just do a hashtag create with Kiwi Lane and you could be entered into a drawing for a $25 prize from Kiwi Lane. This kit includes 12 12 by 12 80 pound pattern paper, which we're going to go through, nine title cards, which we're going to go through, and the templates, which we're going to go through, as well as the travel chipboard title. And you can create at least three two page layouts or six one page layouts or a whole bunch of cards. So let's go through the kit. I always like to go through the papers first. As you know, the um, Kiwi Club kits come, the paper comes with these handy dandy little plastic corners. It's made to protect the corners of the paper during transit, which works wonderful. So the first, I'm gonna, I like going through the paper and telling you which side is my favorite. I don't tell you if I don't like it. I just tell you which is my favorite. Okay, so. Here is the first sheet. There's lots of words on here. Travel the world, get lost, escape. Are we there yet? You could use one of the blurbs. There's a template, thought and speech templates. You could probably trace that over there and you could have it up above the photos. So this is side A and this is side B. I like both sides of this paper but I'm probably going to use a combination of the two. So side A and side B, I like them both. So we'll just keep side A up there. This is a really, really cute travel page. Um, around the world, Leaning Tower Pisa, Eiffel Tower, suitcases, a car with suitcases, s stacked up palm trees, air balloons, a bicycle, all forms of travel on this. It's really cute colors too. This is side A. Ooh, there's a train also. Side A. Side B. 
Oh, wow. This has little white airplanes. It's a light blue paper. It has little white airplanes all through it. It's really cute. I'm going to have to say I like both of those papers. So the two for two. I like them both. Okay. This is a red. Has It's a red, a brighter red, and then a darker red. It's layered pattern. Can you see that? It's pretty. I like the pattern. Side. Oh, ooh. Okay. You really don't hear this from me that often, but I like both sides again. So three for three. Orange. Orange is a color I really don't scrapbook with. I don't know why. I just, I really don't. So this is side A. This is side B. I'm going to be neutral on both sides, but if I had to pick one, it would probably be the orange. Let's see if I can get rid of some of this white here. So that's side A. Side B. I think I'm going to go with side A. Okay. Um, this is a striped paper. Okay. This is just me, but when I get striped paper and it goes horizontal, I don't like that. It has to go this way. I like stripes up and down. So side A, and I'm going to keep it like this. Side A, side B, it's a blue. It's very pretty, but I'm going to go with the stripes. And here's a diamond shaped pattern, blues, greens, yellow, red. Really, really pretty. Side A, side B is a green. There's sort of like arrows in there, like here you go, you go this way. Um, I'm going to be neutral on both of those. Okay, here's another paper that I do like. I really do. However, I don't like it like this. It has to be like this. Oh, you get two sheets of these. So there's two sheets of this paper. It's just one of my OCD things. I don't like it. That way, it has it has to be like this to me. So this is side A, and this is side B. I'm going to be neutral on both of these also. So three for three, we're three for three neutral, and three for three, I like the patterns on side A, both sides. This is side A. It's a very pretty, like, a tomato red. And it has lines in it, vertical lines in it. Really pretty, or horizontal, depending on which way you like your lines to go. So that's side A and side B. Um, the great thing about this paper is I have one of each, so I can use one of each. So I'm going to put these papers over here. And finally, the last two sheets of paper we have. It's a green. It's a, a green with a darker green zigzag pattern in it. There. Better for me. Sorry. Zigzag pattern. You can use the chevron templates with if you like. Very pretty. Side A, side B. Hmm. I already have this one, but this one's in green, this one's in black. I'm going to use side A because I don't think I need four sheets of that, that pattern. So those are all the papers. Let's go through the cards. Okay, we're going to do the templates last. So, and again, I show you all the, the cards, and I tell you which side I like. Take the long way home. I like this one, side A. Enjoy the ride. Life is a journey, enjoy the ride. Side A. Go where your dreams take you. Side A, side B. Ooh, that's a map design. I like both. Probably gonna use the map design. Travel Buddies. I actually have a scrapbook page called Adventure Buddies. Not Travel Buddies, but that's cute. Explore, go see, do. That's pretty. Gives me off a Caribbean vibe with the colors and the blue. Side B. The greatest adventure lies ahead. Side A. Side B. 
Always take the scenic route. Side A. I like that one. Side B. This is titles. Very cute. Wanderer. Gives a definition. Adventurous. Journey. Expedition. Memory. Smile. I love adventure and you are here. This is side A. I would probably use the circles and flip them over. Yeah, those are probably the only two I would use. So both sides. And every picture tells a story. Side A, side B. Now, the great thing about these cards is that if you don't like what's on either side of them, you can always trace a template on top of it. You can mount a photo. You can use it on cards, make a little border, make photo corners. Did I say trace a template on it? Yeah, you can always do those things. And I'm sure there are more, but that's what I've done with them. And finally, let's go through the templates. Sorry, I'm thinking about something else right now also. I'll tell you in a minute. I told somebody, well, I'll tell you now. I told somebody that I would trace this template, the globe template, so that they could see how difficult or hard it was. So that's my next project is tracing this and figuring out, letting them know how it was. So this is the template set is called Wander. And there's three templates in the set. This is number two. Sorry, I pulled this one out first. And it's the globe. It's very cute. And it measures. I'll tell you how much it measures. Um, four and three quarters wide. And it is almost six and a half inches long. So let's get this green paper over here. You can see it. Okay. Um, number one of Wander is a stack of suitcases. But I was thinking, you know, you, you could also make these books. Or a chandelier. Or an old-fashioned pop-out camera. Just different ideas. I just had on top of my head. And this one measures just over three inches and two and a quarter. Okay. And the final template in the set of Wander, this is number three of three, is the long arrow. So let's measure this one. Okay. It measures just under ten and a half okay ten and a half and from this point to this point is um, almost three two and seven eighths but you can use this for like cut out four arrows and you can have the arrows going around the page to make it a frame be very cute so th that's the kit for May I'm going to go trace this out and I'm going to see about doing a quick video on it and show how easy it is. Hopefully it is easy. We shall see. If you're interested in the kit, you have until May 20th to order this kit. If you order the Kiwi Club by then, this is the kit you will receive. If you order May 21st, you'll be getting June's kit. But also while supplies last okay so i'll put all the information in the description below on my facebook page my website for kiwi lane and a link to the kiwi club thank you for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day bye